Okay, my point is to get to a thing about decisions. Dolly, come here. Come here. Again, one more time, Dolly is here with me. So, we're going to be making a video together, so she's going to sit down here on the floor. Um, the thing is that when, you know, people make judgments. We all make judgments about things. You know, we may make a judgment about a person. Like we meet somebody and we think that that person is so wonderful and so brilliant and so everything. And then we discover at, upon close examination, maybe that person isn't what we thought they were. Maybe they're not as brilliant as we originally thought. We kind of want to overturn our decision, but then that means admitting that we're not quite so perfect, you know? That a perfect person makes a decision and they never change it. But that's not really what a perfect person is. See, perfect means being what you are, period. I've, I've talked about that once before in my thing about my video called Perfect. Because perfect is just simply the way things are. That's it. That's perfect. Perfect is exactly the way the world is. That means it can't be any other way other than what it is. It is what it is. And that's it. That's perfect. You know, we think the perfect is when we always, when we're always correct and when things always work out and we always have pleasant experiences without end and everything is pleasure and pleasant, pleasant. No. Perfect is just simply the way things are because it can't be any way other than what it is. And one other part of perfect is we can make improvements. We can change our minds and decide to do something different. If we see something isn't working, let's change it and do something different. I was thinking about thought experiment, you know, about something. Just sort of like thinking about when people make a decision that something is true and then they fall in love with that decision and they can't change it. They have to stick to whatever they originally decided. That sometimes can slow down progress. You know, they become a skeptic. Maybe they become skeptical of any new information or any new data that comes in. They, they learn to doubt the new information. Anything that contradicts what they originally decided was true. So let's think about this with something like this. You see, I have in this glass a clear liquid. What is that clear liquid? Hmm, I don't know. Could be alcohol, could be vinegar, could be acid. Of course, vinegar is acid, a very mild acid, but it could be like hydrochloric acid or something. You know, it could be a lot of different things. But I'm going to make a judgment that it's water. That's my judgment. Just looking at it, it looks like water. I've come to the conclusion it's water. Now, I make that decision that it's water. And I can't change my mind because I'm in love with that decision. Wow, I'm right. I'm perfect. I came up with the right decision that it's water. So I take it and I smell it. Hmm, smells like alcohol. But I can't overturn my previous decision because I have to stay loyal. I have to maintain that loyalty to my original choice. The historical thing going back. I made the decision that it was water. So therefore, I must stick to that decision. I can't let anything sway me. I must stay loyal to what I originally decided. But it smells like alcohol. Hmm. Maybe there's some forces in the world trying to trick me. It's trying to make me believe that I made a dis uh, mistake in my original choice. I taste it. Hmm. Tastes like alcohol. But again, something's trying to trick me. I made a decision that it was water. Now these forces are trying to trick me by making this smell like alcohol and then I taste it and these forces that are trying to trick me are trying to make me think that it's really alcohol. I have to be loyal. I have to stick to it. I gotta stick to my original choice. Now we would have to say that that's ridiculous. If it smells like alcohol, one thing we know is alcohol and water both clear. If it tastes like alcohol, 
Well, there's a consistency with things. Alcohol is clear. It's liquid. It smells like alcohol. Tastes like alcohol. So it's got to be alcohol. But no. The reason why you can't change it is because you made an earlier decision that it was water. And you have a rule. Your rule is you can't change the way things were in the past. Whatever you originally decided, you have to stick to it. You know, it, if laws work that way, maybe we should still have slavery. Because it was the law in the past, so we have to stick to it in the future. Even though we see it's ridiculous and stupid and dumb and everything else, we can't change. Well, one thing that I learned, if you want to make progress in life, you got to be willing to change. you got to be willing to open up to new experiences. And be willing to say, okay, I acknowledge those new experiences. I acknowledge those new ways. To me, when I think about open-mindedness, that's what I think about. You know, that's what I'm thinking about. That's all I have to say.